Is your guinea pig depressed? Hey, it's Scotty. If you're asking yourself, is my guinea pig depressed? It's probably one of two reasons why you're asking yourself that. And the first is your guinea pig lives alone and you're wondering whether or not they would be happier with a friend. The answer is yes. Guinea pigs definitely will do better with another guinea pig in the room or even better in the same cage. I have an entire free guinea pig care guide and the very first section of that is the cage mates and bonding section. Guinea pigs are herd animals and they need other guinea pigs for companionship, for stimulation, and most importantly for security. If there is a loud noise, they look to the other piggy to see how they react. If they are calm, then the piggies will be calm. So there are a number of reasons why your piggies will benefit from having another pig. They eat more, they're just generally happier, and they just will live a better life. The second reason why you might be asking yourself, is my guinea pig depressed, is because their behavior has been changing. Maybe they are not as outgoing or energetic as they used to be. They're not coming out of their house as much as they used to. I consider depression to be more of a human condition and chances are if your guinea pig is less active it's probably because they're sick or they don't feel well and that is the main reason why I'm making this video. So often illnesses, especially really common ones, will go unnoticed or sort of we won't pay attention to them, we just think, oh, my guinea pig's just depressed. Now, if your guinea pig loses their cage mate, they definitely can display different behaviors and they may actually even be sad or down. And I'm not saying that, that animals don't share in similar emotions as we do, but oftentimes we make the mistake of applying our own human emotions to them instead of seeing what's really going on. And so the really important thing, the important point that I'm trying to make with this video is that chances are, if you see a change in behavior of your guinea pig, they are probably not feeling well. Your guinea pig could be lonely and also not feeling well. So the first things first is, if your guinea pig does live alone, you want to definitely get them a friend. You want to reach out to a rescue where you can have a no commitment play date and find the right match for your piggy. Don't just go to the pet shop, please adopt, don't shop, but don't necessarily think that you can just go to the shelter and adopt a piggy, bring them home and your piggies will all get along. I have an entire bonding section of my care guide and bonding section uh, and a bonding playlist that will walk you through all those steps and even shows numerous, numerous bonding sessions at the rescue and here at home. So really, it is very important that your piggies have other piggies in the room, preferably in the cage. I have some solo boys and I have a number of bonded pairs of boys. If you wanna know the piggies, the combinations that in my experience work best together and ones to avoid, I have a bonding rules video right here. It's the first video in the playlist and it's right there for you. Now definitely you're not going to want to bond your piggy with another piggy if they are sick, but if your piggy has other piggies that they live with and they're not feeling themselves, it probably isn't because they had an argument with their cage mate. It's more likely that they're not feeling well. So maybe they show signs of pain or maybe they are lethargic. I have an entire common illness playlist. I'm going to put that right here. I really hope that this video has gotten you thinking in a different way and it's pointed you in the direction of some tools that you can use to learn and identify common illnesses and get you on the road to giving your piggies the best life because that's what we're all about here. Right, BB? We love our we love our piggies. Come here. On behalf of me and BB and all the piggies, thanks for watching.